Ben Horner for Southfield Jab here with Craig Buxton, the Southern Area Super Featherweight Champion. Um, first time I've been able to meet up with you, first time I think anyone's been able to meet up with you to talk about your fight. Um, have you watched it and how yeah. many times? Yeah, I, wa I watch all my fights, regardless of the result, I always watch my fights back to try and build on where I went wrong, but yeah, win winning the Southern Area title, you know, that's that's something. Something I brought up with Matt, your trainer, is um, you know, it's the first pro title that he's been able to win as a as a trainer, and it's your first pro title. Yeah. Um, second attempt at it, but that's all in the past now. You know, how did it feel? To be <laughs> honest, I don't know if you see it on the video. I saw I saw Ben Jones went down and the ref and. Dom Negus coming in, that was a little bit surreal, you know, like, <laughs> the fight's done, I was, I was, that is a mental elation, you know, um, very surreal, a good topping fight, I, like, even watching it back as a spectator, that was a good fight, and credit, credit to uh, Ben Jones, Boy Jones, he's a tough kid, isn't he, you know, so, fair play to him. Matt, your trainer said that was sort of the tactics, you know, get the pressure on. Did you feel, you know, after the first, second round, that you went out maybe a little bit too quick, or was that you knew you could do it? Problem is with that, you can you can sound cocksure or whatever, but you know me well enough to know that I train to be able to fight flat out every round, um, and I I just go out and do my job, you know. I know I put put the work in, and and that's how I fight, you know. It, if I need to go flat out for 10 rounds, I'll go flat out for 10 rounds. With that, um, obviously, people on social media um, picked up on it. Um, the commentators didn't stop on about it. Um, to see the names of, well, like, Derry Matthews sticks out. To see him talking about your fight and, you know, someone who you've probably seen from when you started boxing, who was... Yeah. Um, how did that feel, you know? To... As, well as, as well as being a fight, I'm a... I'm a keen spectator you know and, um, and and that is very humbling like them like you said them sort of people talking about it and commentators that I've watched for years and they're tweeting me and <laughs> yeah, that's very surreal but that, that's nice you know um, I don't do it for any of that so I don't really take it on board if you know what I mean it's like people say oh this time that time I don't think about that I just think of each fight and building and building you know I, I try not to get involved with all that. I'm just, I'm just me, you know. <laughs> so. You say you take each fight as it comes. Next fight's what? Two weeks away, Saturday. Three, two weeks away, Saturday. Yeah. Um, do you know much about your opponent, Craig White, or do you leave that to your team and you? Well, you know me. I, le I leave it all to them. I think the problem is if you worry about what they're doing, you're not worrying about what you're doing. So I leave that to my team. They sort it out, and I just do as I'm told. Your next fight, um, headlining in Norwich, is um, the first show that you've been able to headline at home as such. And uh, how does that feel? You know, everything seem must seem. It's all these first times keep happening. You know. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. Do you know what I mean? I'm buzzing for the obviously Graham and Mervyn and, and Matt, and they've they've given me a chance to headline a show in Norwich, which means a lot to me. You know, I'm hoping like going back to being a first from lower stuff, do you know what I mean? That's not just a big thing for me, that's a big thing for the area and I'm hoping to get as many people from lower stuff there because that is a big thing and, and that'd be nice to share it, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and have a big, because I've got a brilliant crowd as it is, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and they follow me and, and you know, they follow me everywhere, but I just want other people to experience and be there because people ask me, oh, what's it like, what's it like? When you're there and there's like all them people, do you know what I mean? And it, it, like at the York Hall when you said when I won the title you look up in the balcony and everybody's there and it's just sharing that sort of experience with everybody and it's brilliant feeling coming out and that, that's just that is surreal and that, that's no there's no better feeling and I think people that don't come to shows are missing out yeah, because yeah. that is something special it's like we said look two weeks away Saturday um, how do you feel preparation for this fight's gone and has it been any different, you know, to previous fights? It's hard, it's always hard. Matt takes me until my body's ready to <laughs> heal. I feel like an old man every time I leave the gym, but the next morning I feel fresh as a daisy and, and I think that's what it's all about and that's why I can 
box the way I do and, and I think that that's, that's the best way for me. Um, Matt does a great job with me and then obviously we go over kick stop and and we just build every fight we build and uh, not not just on the fitness, the stamina or whatever but on the knowledge as well you know and, and it's just about building every fight. Going away from your fight a little bit, going on to the world scene, um, one of the biggest fights in a long while. Um, for two reasons, well there's two big fights, one for money and one for the actual fight in itself. Triple G against Canelo Alvarez, how, you say you're a keen boxing fan, how do you see that going? I think Golovkin's a force and he's too big, he is too big, you look at them at side of each other, um, I think, look Canelo Alvarez is what he is and I think he's got good footwear, he's got good hands, I think when he fought Mayweather people thought he's a bit slow as this, but he's not, he's very good, do you know what I mean, it's, it's somebody the skill of Mayweather made him look like that, but I think Golovkin's just too big naturally, and that, we all know natural size is a big factor, and I think that'll be a cracking fight, I can't <laughs> wait to watch it. Going on to the other one, I don't like to have too much time on it, um, McGregor Mayweather, it's a big money fight, we all know that, yeah. um, do you think that is pretty much what we're expecting? Yeah. Yes, McGregor can punch, but Mayweather's Mayweather is very, very good at what he does against the top top fighters. McGregor, like full respect to him for taking it, and he's the best at what he does. Yeah, yeah. But that's not boxing, unfortunately. Coming back to your fight, we um, we know it's at Epic Studios in Norwich. Yeah. Can you give us a date? It's the twenty second of July, Saturday. And uh, tickets, where can we find your tickets? Well, I've got whatever tickets you need. Uh, all social medias, Snapchat, Facebook, all that, Twitter. Just Craig Poxton, C Poxton. You ain't got to look far, I'm there. So uh, get in touch, people. Brilliant. Thanks for your time, Cheers, Craig. Man. And I'll speak to you again soon. Nice.